Hi, this is Juja from Juja Healing, and this is the Virtue Series. And I prepared this special edition on the virtue of peace because of what's happening in the world, because of all the tension and fear and anger, disappointment in the air. And if you are sensitive, then you probably sense the collective consciousness's energies as well. So, about the virtue of peace. Any virtue that we learn, the most limited way of learning it is by doing its opposite. So, learning love through hatred is the most limited way. And uh, learning peace by its opposite, which is war, conflict, fight, is the most limited way. However, it is the ultimate lesson of a war situation, peace and love. And... Uh, I'm using the Theta Healing Technique to uh, prepare this video series. Um, all you have to do to accept the clearings, healings, activations, downloads, as we call them in Theta Healing, you say yes in your head or out loud, and the energies are being sent to you. At the end of this video, however, I'm going to use a different modality. If you're familiar with Theta Healing, you know Hero, he is the one who wrote the elective seminar called Game of Life. And he actually started his own modality last year called Phoenix Blessing. And I attended some of his seminars and I love to combine this modality with Theta Healing. So at the end of this video, that is what I'm going to do, just to be clear. Okay, so peace. Let's start. Would you like to know Creator's highest perspective, understanding and definition of peace and of the virtue of peace? And that yours is the same. Would you like to know how to be peaceful in your daily life? Would you like to know that it's safe, possible and permitted for you to have peace, to choose peace, to be at peace? Would you like to know how to fully acknowledge your inner peace and let that dissolve any and all inner and out of fear, stress, with ease and grace in your body? I would like you to join me, witness this, as you find the energy, the emotion of peace, your inner peace, and you will see it dissolving the stress. Now peace is the dominant feeling, the inner peace in your entire body and in your auric field. Beautiful. Would you like to know how to easily find your inner peace and let it carry you gently through your days, through your life? Can the Creator send peace to all fiber of your being, peace to your heart, peace to your mind, peace to your lungs, peace to your digestive system, peace to your soul? Can the Creator teach you calmness, what it feels like to be calm, that is safe, possible and permitted for you to be calm, and how to invite it, receive it, recognize it, accept it, and how it can bring you inner and outer peace? Can the Creator show you that peace of mind, what peace of mind feels like, and pull shock and trauma and stress from your nervous system, from your brain, from all your cells, send all the stress to the light, replace everything with unconditional love and peace. Okay, can we cancel clear resolve on all levels? I'm addicted to stress and send it to the light. And uh, I'm addicted to trauma, send it to the light. I'm addicted to drama and send it to the light. I'm addicted to conflicts and send it to the light. And replace it with I'm addicted to peace, I'm addicted to love. 
everywhere where you've used stress or tension as a fuel, as a motivation, can the Creator send the healing to all space-time dimensions, to all versions of you? Can the Creator teach you how to use unconditional love as your fuel, as your motivation? Can the Creator show you what it feels like to be calm by peace, to be purified by peace, to be nourished by peace and by divine peace? Would you like to know how to find fair solutions with peace and when differences arise, creating win-win situations with ease and grace for your highest and best? Can the Creator show you how to be a peacemaker, how to radiate peace, how to reflect peace, how to inspire peace, how to shine peace, how to embrace peace, how to think peace, how to talk peace, and how to be peaceful? Can the Creator show you that it's safe, possible, and permitted for you, and that you let yourself be at peace with divine will, with your higher self, with your body, with your life, with any situation, with your friends and family, with your community, with humanity, with Creator, with your neighboring country, with all other religions, with all other races, with all the creatures, with ease and grace. Can the Creator send the healing to situations where you were fighting for peace, for freedom, for equality, for love, or for God, or for the, uh, in the name of God? Can we separate peace, freedom, equality, love, and God from fighting, from wars, from hatred, from hostili hostility, from imprisonment, from torture, from, from any post-war effects like famine, bad economy? Can we liberate God from wanting us to fight for anything? And can I ask for a healing to all religions, to all rulers? Some of them were considered God. And, um, and to all the people that thought they were to, uh, there to support God's wish, God's will, or they were fighting for the name of God. And send creator's perspective, understanding, discernment of these situations liberate you from those roles mm, this is a lot can the creator also disconnect you from any group consciousness that has these ideas okay let's see so I connected to the Creator when I was channeling this uh, video and I was asking Creator what virtues are people learning uh, that are involved in wars in any, any ways. They are victims of the war, they are politicians, they are soldiers, anyone. And of course there are the ultimate, uh, the ultimate lesson is uh, virtue is always peace and love. <clears throat> but there are so many others and then Creator was like, well, I mean, to be honest, all virtues can be learned in a war, in extremely dark ways, but ultimately, the highest lesson learned is love, peace, compassion, empathy, tolerance, understanding, and uh, but many others, like the soldiers, they work, uh, they, they learn uh, cooperation and they learn um, helpfulness and they learn strength and there are so many. I mean, really, all the virtues could be named here. So can, the, can I ask the Creator for a general healing to be sent to all space-time dimensions, to all versions of you, to all your genetic line, where you or they were learning any virtues through war, tension, fighting, suffering, pain, abuse, conflicts, torture, fear, sacrifice, self-sacrifice, destruction, through losing a loved one in any of these events, um, or being wounded or losing uh, your life or their life, or when you were just a bystander with the inability to make a difference, or you were really an innocent victim, 
much. So can we just pull shock and trauma from all these situations, from all these people, send unconditional love. And can the Creator show you that you can choose to learn and master virtues, creating peaceful, joyful, beautiful experiences, and that is your birthright, and it's exercising your free agency, and that you let yourself do it, and you know how to do it. It's safe, possible, and permitted for you to do it. Can we ask the Creator to cleanse the land where you are, and uh, pull the energies of battles, wars, death from the soil, from the buildings, from the neighborhood, from the city, from the country, from the continent, and from the entire world, especially where there are now or recently where wars or tensions or conflicts. I mean, the whole Middle East, Ukraine, Russia, Central America, some parts of South America, almost entire Africa, Korea. There's so much. And I would like you to join me witnessing this healing. How the Creator is pulling out these energies from the soil, from all buildings, from all cities. And now showering, pouring down unconditional love to the oceans, to the lands, to the people, to all creatures. Freeing, liberating planet Earth, healing planet Earth. Beautiful. Can we disconnect you from collective consciousness of the fear, the worry, the tension, the resentment, any the theory, uh, you know, theories, what's going to happen, any group consciousness, uh, any collective consciousness groups you have ever joined during a war, post-war, talking about war, liberate you, disconnect you, sending you unconditional love. Okay, can we do a soul, uh, can we pull um, free floating memories of wars? All for free floating memories actually, everyone who is listening. Can we do a soul fragment exchange now with all participants, with anyone you have ever fought with, had a conflict with, there was abuse, there was war, there was tension. Pulling back all your soul fragments charged with unconditional love cleansed with unconditional love, charged with power, and sending everyone's soul fragment back to them, charged, cleansed with unconditional love, and power and peace. Mm, beautiful. This is a lot of soul fragments there. Beautiful. Thank you so much for participating in this. Uh, can we mark complete, liberate you from any revenge, uh, promises, oaths, vows? Send those to the light. Liber liberate you from their commitments. And uh, for your highest and best, can we mark complete any oaths, vows, promises, contrast, obligations, karmic debts, curses, even blessings that prevent you from mastering the virtue of peace and um, and from these healings to be completed and fully integrated and they are sent to the light 
replaced by unconditional love. Okay. Can we extend this healing to your genetic line? Send these healings to everyone's higher self with hope that they accept it. Very good. Can the Creator show you how to cultivate the virtue of peace for your highest and best with ease and grace? Can we ask the Creator to redirect receptors from feelings that you feel uh, during war or hearing about war? I mean fear, tension, unsafety, uncertainty, Unprotection, uh, feeling unprotected, unimportant, insignificant, uh, abused, disconnected, any resentment, revenge, regret, shame, sorrow, uh, all these receptors to be redirected to feel hope, peace, calm, love, and instill all necessary molecules of emotion to support this activation and shift. And asking Creator to create new neurological pathways to support this and to support this healing that I offered in this video. Okay. And now, time for the meditation. So, find a comfortable position, preferably sitting or lying down. Close your eyes. Take a few breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth in through your nose, out through your mouth. In the meantime, while you're breathing, remember a painful emotion that you experienced related to the situation between uh, Ukraine and, uh, and Russia or any other wars or any other injustice and just feel this emotion somewhere in your body, pinpoint it, where it is, what shape, what color is it. Look at its size, become aware of it. And know that throughout this meditation, you are protected, supported, and that this healing process is completely safe. Assure yourself that you can heal this emotion today. Now imagine going into this emotion deep, deep, deeper, deeper. You can imagine a slide and go all the way down to the bottom of it. You will find somebody down there it might be yourself in the past, or maybe someone else. This person has been trapped in this emotion for a very long time, needing your attention. Today, think of yourself as a rescuer, an angel who is coming to help this person. Imagine going closer to this person and ask them what happened, what caused this emotion and listen carefully, attentively to what the person tells you. You can go closer and hold your hand. When this person finishes saying everything, you can go closer and give them a warm hug. Silently say, it's okay, you're safe, you're precious, I'm here for you, I love you, you're on the right path and everything is going to be fine. Notice how the energy changes and now ask the person what was the reason this was created. How did this change their life? What did they learn from it? 
How did it benefit them? What was it protecting them from? And imagine holding the person's hand and listening to the lessons. And if you say, yes, unconditional love, the shower of unconditional love is pouring down on both of you, healing this emotion. And if you say, yes, Creator is teaching you how to have this lesson, this benefit, without creating this emotion. Now tell this person that you're going to take them to the most beautiful place they can imagine. And by the time I count to three, you're in this most beautiful place. One, two, three. Look around, see the vegetation, listen to the sounds, feel the energy, the healing energy of this place. Watch how the person immersed into the beautiful energy, liberated from the emotion, healed from the emotion. Now find a comfortable spot for the two of you. Sit down, feel the sun rays on your skin and imagine the shower of light going through every fiber of your being, feeling up your heart, feeling up your entire body, washing away all traces of the emotion, all imprints of that emotion. Feel free, feel liberated. Feel relieved, feel the peace, the harmony, the inner peace, the love, the gratitude. Now take a deep breath in, through your nose, out through your mouth, and you can open your eyes. I hope you enjoy the meditation and the video. I'll be back with the regular uh, Virtue Series videos and uh, I hope this was benefiting and impactful. If you need more information, come to my website. The direction will be in the description. And uh, follow me on Instagram or sign up for my YouTube channel to be notified when new videos of Virtue Activations are posted. Well, peace and love. Have a peaceful day. Have a peaceful sleep. Spread peace. Bye. Love.